like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content. Whether religiously or in passing, shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my guy. Let me get my collar right. Holler right, get my collar right. Since I can remember, I've been popping my collar. Popping, popping my collar. Um, it's a lot going on. It is a lot going on in the battle rap world. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talk, a lot of this one's better than that one. This league is doing that competition, competition. And a lot of us live for that. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind. I do not mind competition. I don't mind having options. I don't mind that. That's good. I think it's very good. Um, but speaking of options, Calico, Calico. You got away with it, but you won't get away with it. Come in here, let's let's have this conversation. So, I rock with Calico. I like what he does. I like the music shit. I like the way he carries himself, the way he's been a legendary MC for all of these years. But, you're going to have to stand on what you said about Ace I mean, So, everybody knows Ace I mean, you know what I'm saying? He got out, battle rap, did his thing, he's been moving along, moving along, and he's been trying to, you know, ascend himself, uh, really, you know, rapid flow, the, the kickback, the kickback, whatever the f*** you come from, you know what I'm saying, everybody knows that, shoulder bumps, promoted himself well, and um, one thing I will say about Ace is he's very in tune with what goes on in battle rap, he cares about his brand, he cares about his marketing, he cares about the way he's portrayed, and narratives, right, so, Calico had this live stream. I did not see the live stream when it originally happened. I was linked to it. Salute to Battle Rap Trap. He had it on his joint. I'm taking it and bringing it over here. See, the thing is about the uh, the live streams and all of that, I don't feel like if another person has it and uses it, which is great, that if you see it and there's some context that you need that you can't use it. Like, it's the artist's thing. And I ain't saying about Battle Rap Trap. Salute to him everything he do. But I've seen people in the past get mad that someone else, oh, he took my record, he took, Nick, that's not you, it ain't you, and plus, you ain't gonna put the spin on it like somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Like, I put a different spin on things. I might talk about something first, then play some of the stream. I'm not, I don't just randomly, you know what I'm saying, take a nigga stream, don't give him no credit, and just upload it. And I don't, I never really wanted to be a guy that just looks for streams, or looks for spaces and uses them and shit like that all the time. And I want you to get my opinion on things. So I didn't see it. I didn't see it anywhere else. So shout out to Battle Rap Trap. Let me get that. Oh, shout out to my man. That's my guy. I ain't got no issue with him. So um, Calico is basically in this live stream. He's talking crazy about Ace. Like, I get it if you don't think he's a good rapper. I get it if you feel. But the things that you were saying, as far as like, you know, he can. What you said? Uh, he can't beat you in a race and I got Timberlands on. He can't beat me in a battle at the gas station. He can't beat me on the stage. He can't beat me in a small room, a volume, your mom's room, all these different places. So I understand why he feels like the way he feels because as a man, as a man, if you're challenged by another man and you feel like, if you feel like you got the skills to pay the bills, you're going to bring it. Like, nah, I'm not letting him talk crazy about me like this. Sorry, baby. Ace Amen. I'm about to battle Ace Amen already though. I'm already we already got that battle set up. That's just gonna happen. I don't even gotta know nothing or nothing. We just gonna pop up and rap and it's not it's not gonna nobody getting paid, nothing. That's for the real essence of hip hop right there. And I promise the fans that and I'm gonna do that for the fans. I'm gonna fuck Ace Amen up. Probably in Maryland. Downtown and on the corner type shit with the cameras out like Oh, smack DVD feel this shit the real way. I'm trying to just meet up and rap. I ain't trying to go through no venue, no security checks, no introduction, bringing the nigga out, no jumbo try, no security guards. I ain't trying to do none of that. I'm trying to meet up at a location, give the fans an hour to get to the location, 
whoever there, see it. Whoever not there, don't see it. Legendary moment type shit. Some straight calico shit. Some straight motherfucking original, you know, battle rap, smack DVD feel type vibes. Same shit I did with Ill Will in the parking garage. I don't know if people want to get the credit. That was my idea. I did that. That wasn't ARP idea. That wasn't um, what's his name? That wasn't um, that wasn't my favorite white boy avocado idea. That wasn't none of their ideas. That wasn't Lauren's idea. Actually, when I first told them to do it in the parking garage, they told me no. It wasn't. It's not going to be no way we could pay per view it. So we can't do it. And then I end up passing out, going to sleep. If y'all don't know, we we did that battle late as hell. We did that battle at like one in the morning outside. And when I got the um, when I um got the call, like fuck it, we just gonna do it in the garage. Come on, that was the beauty. That was the beauty of that situation for me. I feel like our battle was the best battle on a card because of that. And that's what I'm on right now. I'm trying to battle a nigga outside, bro. Just the essence of hip hop, bro. Fuck all that. 50,000, 60,000. We still going to get our money. We still going to go and get battles, but that that that's our, our money battles. But for the battles, that's not money battles. Battles that's just good battles. Like, I know niggas want to see me and Ace. I know niggas want to see that. But it's 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 more of a... It's more of a... um Reason to watch that battle if it's authentic. If it's me and Ace really pulling up with our entourages and getting to it and, and, and handling that shit like men. Not getting on no bullshit. Not trying to be out there shooting each other. None of that. I ain't talking about none of that gangster shit. Fuck all that gangster shit. We all know who the gangsters is and who not. We talk about some straight rap shit. We talk about some straight, you know, fan appreciation type shit. Get the fans a chance to pull up and watch niggas in the flesh outside on some murder mook and Jay Mills type shit. That's what I'm on right now. That's what I'm on right now. But for these battles that's right here, A War, Swamp, Rum Nitty, and Goods, them not pull up. Up, see me outside battles. Ace aiming. That's that type of battle. I don't give a fuck who pull up to see me body ace. He really irritate me, and that's why I don't care about no money when it comes to him. He not good. He really weak as fuck. And y'all think he good? That's crazy to me. I will beat that nigga for free. That nigga is ass. I just will want y'all to subscribe to my YouTube page and some shit like that. I don't need nothing to battle ace. He weak as fuck. Can y'all hear me? He weak as fuck, man. I'm tired of being nice to Ace Amen, bro. He weak as fuck. He can't even rap like that. He not good. Just talk more than me. I don't like that shit. So that's one nigga that I've been just preparing raps for. Because when I see that nigga... I fuck around and just let a whole round off on him, bro. Like, I, I feel like me and him need to battle wherever we see each other. It don't need to be no setup or venue. Let's see how good you is, for real, bro. Like, like I watched Kobe go on the Rucker Park and in them boys drop 40. I, I watched Kevin Durant go on the Rucker Park. That's how I feel about Ace Amen. He like a right for Austin type nigga to the, to the pros. Like, he get off sometime, but you not just elite you're not elite you don't belong here you belong in the playground so i'm gonna come to your world and battle you in the street i'm just battle you somewhere wherever i see you on some street ball and one type shit and i'm gonna show you can't fuck with me nowhere you can't fuck with me in an arena in a club in a museum In a park, you can't beat me at this gas station. You can't beat me, bro. Ace Amon could never beat me, bro. Never, could never beat me. I don't give a fuck where we battle at. I don't give a fuck what we was doing. He can't beat me in nothing. He can't beat me in anything. He can't beat me one on one hooping. He can't beat me in 
tic-tac-toe. He can't beat me in a rap battle. He can't beat me in a fight. He can't beat me in nothing, bro. There's nothing. He could never beat me in nothing, bro. Nothing at all. I, he can't beat me in a race. I got on TMs right now. I would never let Ace Amen beat me in a race. I would never let him do that. He looked like a muscle head ass nigga. I bench press more than him. Like, like he can't beat me in nothing, bro. Right, right. Life track meet. Life attract me. That's the thing about it. Niggas, niggas don't understand my um my sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? Niggas read like the whole time I say, um, what I say, what I say to that nigga. I say, ah, I say he talk about the niggas he battled like he was trying to, he talking about he 12 and 0 on the app like he was trying, like that was supposed to make a statement, but the opponents was niggas like Chess Stumbles and Ace Amen. I mean, niggas don't understand my sense of humor, Thax. They think I fucked his name up on a mistake. Niggas is, niggas is telling me in the middle of the battle, it's Ace I mean. You're not even getting a bar, asshole. <laughs> Nigga, not even getting the bar. Why do you think I don't know this man's name? It's a fucking bar. Just because everybody don't set their bars up with a like and basically say the punchline. Niggas rap like Jeopardy, bro. You know how they say the answers? They be like, what is basketball? So they say the answer, and you gotta say the question. Bro! Ooh, my niggas in this city will be on that bitch. Hell yeah. Yeah, white man, we want that bitch. I don't rap like y'all niggas, bro. My punchline is not gonna be how y'all punchline is gonna be. And Calico was so specific in his request, like, I'll battle you in Maryland. I'll battle you here. I'll come to your hood. I do. All right, well, I want to see it. I want to see it because when these things happen and we don't add context, it will look like Ace Amin is chasing a battle that he doesn't deserve. It can easily look like that, especially when Ace is the first person who we see or hear about. Now, I do follow both on Instagram. Shout out to Ace Amin. Shout out to Calico. And, um, I saw when Ace Amin said what he said. For some reason, I don't know when Calico did his. It is what it is. I don't. I didn't see it. But it just sounded like Ace was uh, down talking Cal and all of this stuff. But when you really look at it, it's like, nah, Cal, you said this. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. It's like, nah, you, you're going to have to stand on that. Because Ace is a man of principles, honor, respect, morals. He did his time. He came out. He's built his brand. He's not about to let you just talk. Wild about him. And then Caligo said he'll beat you for no money. He said, I don't even need no money. He said, you know, I seen Kevin Durant go to the Rucker. I seen Kobe go to the Rucker and drop 50. And you called the man Ray for Austin. When you call a nigga Ray for Austin, y'all damn near almost got a fight. When we talking about NBA players and you compare, you compare me to Ray for Austin. If they was talking about like the bloggers and said, this blogger's Jordan, Kobe, Damon. You call me Ray for, I would have an issue with it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Ray for Austin. Skip to my loop, by the way. You know what I'm saying? It's New York. One of New York's guys, you know what I'm saying? Made it to the league. Had a good career. You know, and the thing about Ray for Austin, and I know I, I'm going to go back to the couch shit, but the thing about Ray for Austin, to come from street ball, you know what I'm saying, and to go to, you know, a smaller school and to make it out, make it to the NBA, played in the NBA Finals versus Kobe on the Orlando Magic, they got a pretty good career. Didn't become like a super, superstar. But Ray for Austin did have a, a good career. Um, but anyway, so Cal, yeah, you gotta stand on this, man. I, 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 when I first heard about it, I was like, nah, Cal couldn't have said too much. He couldn't have said too much. Did he say too much? I listened to it this morning. I was like, oh, nah, you jumped out the window a little bit on Ace. Somebody who's going to follow up, who's going to continue to go the avenue and the route that he needs to go. He's not gonna let you just say this about him unwarranted and there's a lot of street niggas there's a lot of niggas who've been in jail there's a lot of barbers there's a lot of hood niggas there's a lot of niggas who work at amazon niggas who got hard tough jobs that came from the street we like to see when this time you're like oh, oh this is a real street battle i want to see this you know what i'm saying so don't get it fucked up cal you put yourself in it now you're in it and i want to see it now 
if you was just bullshitting, like, yo, I was just trolling, yada, 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 I get it. Because, you know, when you, and even in the video, you say you called him Ace Amen. People don't know the way you troll and things like that. I get that. But at the end of the day, it's a battle that I want to see. Shout out to Cal. Shout out to Ace Amin. Uh, shit, if it's going to be in Baltimore, you say you're battling in Baltimore. Hey, tomorrow, oh, wait, more, more. Let me know. You know how to find me. Ace knows how to find me. Let me know. If it's going to be on the little East Coast, this New York, this Jersey, this Philly, yeah, I ain't going to do it in Delaware, this Maryland, this Virginia, this little, this little up and down area right here, let me know. I'll be there. You already know what it is. Gang.